Hey guys, welcome back. It's another evening and uh, cracking on with the van again. Oh, was that something on my head? No, it's something on the screen. Huh. Got to do blocking down. So at the moment you've got this primer coat on and it looks absolutely incredible. Ant's just showing me a little demonstration here of what I need to do. I'm going to start off with the roof first because that's the sort of hardest to reach areas and then work my way down the van. It's a beautiful sunny evening. It's actually a one year anniversary of Mrs. tonight. So planning on going out for dinner and stuff. But instead, she's come along to help. <laughs> <laughs> Bless her. It's locking down, getting it all nice and smooth. It feels lovely. Um, it's amazing how long it takes. I know I keep saying that, but that is literally the theme of painting a van. The big bits like this take what seems like five minutes, but it's getting inside all the little grooves on a T4. I'm gonna continue to block down this side. There's a bit of filler that's been put in here now. So I'm gonna put 180 on there to take it down and then go down to the 320 and then 500 with a DA. But this side is pretty much finished now. I've always found the weight of this front bar here. Every time I've taken it on and off, it's not heavy, but it's heavier than it needs to be. I like speed holes. So of course I'm gonna make some adjustments here before I get it painted. So I'm gonna drill loads of holes in. I know it doesn't make much difference, but it's little details like that that I enjoy and just, you know, the sort of thing that I think about when I'm at work, sat at my desk. What can I do to, to make the van more race van? I can also take off this press bolt and uh, that's going to save me even more weight by taking that off. Center of gravity of the van goes down. That could be the difference between spinning out or not, you never know. And now for my front panel, just masked all this off. You'll see here where the paint's just cracked and gone horrible. When it was metal, it was fine, but whatever happened with the plastic one, I didn't do it properly. Now we're gonna take all this back, get it nice and smooth and get it ready for paint. It's amazing how long this sort of stuff takes. It's taken me an hour and a half to do that. And that's using the DA, getting in there with 120. If anyone wants one of these panels, let me know if you're going to a show in the UK. It's fiberglass, you do have to You'd have to bond it onto the back of here to get it to fit. Uh, but this is my own design with the scoop, uh, brought to life by Kelly at Audio Sport. Drop me a DM on Instagram. All right guys, van's coming along great, but now we're cracking on with the doors. Before I get them primed and uh, mess around with them too much, I'm actually gonna cut out the bottom part of this door. Now the rubber seals actually go up against here, but the rubber seals I might actually drop from the lower half of the doors anyway. Uh, just again, because the rubber seals in themselves add more weight. The top one, of course, would just be to stop anything dripping in to the main area on the van. Uh, I'm gonna put the whole saw through here, mark that out in a second, got the ruler. And I'm gonna mark out exactly where I'm gonna cut this round here on the edge, just to get a bit of weight out here, and also just strip the door back in areas it doesn't need to be, but it doesn't need to be much metal, really. Basic stuff, before it gets primed, and then we can see where we are from there. All right, guys, that's all cut out now. Still got to do some hole saw uh, parts along here. I've marked it all out. Uh, I'm going to try and do the other door at home as well and get that sorted. But it's all cut out now how I wanted it to be. Nice bit of um, metal work removed. And of course, once I've got all these little holes out, it may not add, <coughs> it may not take away too much, but it's also just in keeping with the look that I want on the van for keeping everything nice and lightweight. Eventually, I'll probably go over to carbon fiber doors but that'll be another thing for me to do in future. But for the moment, really chuffed with that, looks great. Okay, so although needing less work, the tailgate has actually got a bit of damage here. Uh, when I was actually taking it back, I realized that there's actually been a, bit of, a couple of dents and a bit of filler here. Uh, so I'm now gonna hand this over to the pros to do. This is all eventually gonna be going off to Fiberworks to have a carbon fiber tailgate done. So I wanna have this bit done perfectly so there's no ripples. Also gonna get the wiper hole filled in. I've got some extra help today. The missus is in, Alexandra, you having fun? Yeah. <laughs> so we're just doing the sliding door now. Uh, not too much on this one actually, it's in really good nick. It's just a little pin dent here, we marked out. It's Sunday, so putting extra time in today to get it finished. But yeah, you can see that's all pretty good. I right, just did a bit of work at home. I've drilled a load of holes out the door there, getting a nice bit of weight out. I'm putting it all in the bucket so I can weigh at the end, see what it's like. Now I'm doing the front cross member panel. This isn't overly structural, it just holds the two top parts together. On the long nose, they don't actually have this, it's more of a plastic part near the top of the rad. Eventually I'll probably make it in carbon fibre, but this time I'm just going to drill a couple of holes out of it to get it nice and light. I've also got some extra help, haven't I, Leo? Yeah. So can you come over here please and spray some of the oil? I'll pass you over to Lex now so she can uh, catch Leo doing his bit. So what we're doing is we're just spraying a little bit of oil when I'm drilling, aren't we? Let's just do it from spray above, this can, oil. Please. I've already punched the holes in the top so that the drill bit doesn't go wandering all over the metalwork. Good boy. <laughs> Can I spray? Yeah, 
Go on in. You have to stop while I'm spraying. Perfect. Do you like Daddy's van? Yeah. Okay, then that's it all finished. Front and back. Much, much, much lighter now, as you can imagine. Perfect. Just needs to be sent off now to be sandblasted, taken right back to bare metal, and then put in primer. Right guys, we're getting close. Another Saturday now, just uh, the final stretch before it goes into the booth. Just gonna block off the bottom part there and get a few other bits and pieces done. And then it's gonna be DA'd in 500 to get it all flat, ready for the booth. I've taken loads of weight out, here are the doors. These are 44 mil holes, I've cut the bottom of the door out as well. And i um, just gonna have it all gunned up and black on the inside as well. Mrs is scraping away on the inside. You can literally fill up carrier bags of this stuff. It all comes in big rolls and anyone who's ever soundproofed a van will know how heavy it is. Back in my car stereo days, I used to lag the inside of the doors with it to stop them from vibrating. Pretty much there now. Get everything ready and off we go. There's the tailgate. Kev's still working his magic on that. And the pièce de résistance, the piece that you would have seen in the garden earlier, now across the front. Individually, they don't make much difference, but when you add it all together, you'll probably end up with a bucket full of metal again. Just to rinse some holes across the top here. Uh, very low reward, high risk, because if I go through with a bit, it's going to punch through and make a dent on the other side. I mean... That's quite... I would... Yeah. That's quite spicy. We're just reducing the centre of gravity now, because by taking this weight out here, it's lowering the centre of gravity by about half a millimetre. Incredible. This is the way forward. <laughs> way forward, hun. Right, got loads done. All the speed holes across the top there. Look at that, so much weight out. Just got to do this side now. I'll go for a smaller one. I might even leave that bit there. And uh, the front, I think I'm also gonna leave as well. All the holes have been drilled all the way along. It's amazing just how much all those little bits of metal add up. And it also just looks pretty cool as well. I've actually killed my Dewalt drill doing all this because it gets very hot because you're just on off, on off, and it doesn't get any cooling. Love the look of that. Also all the holes in the doors, it's all gonna look pretty cool. So yeah, I'm just gonna buzz all the inside off now, get it all clean, and uh, DA the outside in 500, and then it's going in the booth. <laughs> With a sliding door, there are a few little areas that I couldn't quite get right. Because I'm gonna be using this door for a carbon fiber mold, I've got uh, Nathan and Kev to do that. So that is absolutely square, spot on perfect now. Mint, I'm so excited now. I've Finally getting there, gonna, gonna go and pick the missus up. And before the sun goes down, I'm gonna take the missus down to the watering hole, get some food and chill. All right guys, with the floor done now, with the floor clear in the back, just gonna pop up all the little bits here, the nose bottle bracket, and uh, get the shifter bracket up, uh, shifter tower bracket up. Make some space there so that they can blow through, right through here with some fresh Raptor, just to blend it all in. Okay, so here's a T4 roof spoiler, the eventual plan, will be to blend this into the tailgate and actually use it when I do the carbon fibre mould of the whole rear tailgate. I'll obviously need to make sure that everything's plug shaped so it can pop off. Just doing some prep on the rear bumper now, taking the mould lines out. Um, this is an audio sport rear bumper, much deeper than a standard one which is going to be far better for the under tray. So all I'm doing here with the mould lines, just getting some 320 on a pad and just taking it off so that the uh, mould line's gone. Nice and smooth all the way down and then just 320 the whole thing ready for primer. Right guys, it's half past 11 at night and I've finally done. This has taken ages but we are there. Loads of late nights, you know, I work from six in the morning. I get up at half five, six o'clock every morning and uh, work sat behind a desk for nine hours a day. Not much for time for lunch breaks. And then I've been flat out in the evenings doing about six hours a night on the van, getting that ready. All the bumpers have been prepped and finished. They're all been done in 320, so they're ready to be primed. The doors have all been done in 320, ready for primer. And the shell is actually going in tomorrow. I tell you what, there's so much work involved in prep. You know, I really do respect the amount of work that people put into paint. Um, and bear in mind, this is just a very bare minimum basic paint job that I've done here. You know, just uh, you know, color change apart from the engine bay, of course, when the engine comes out again. And we'll get all this uh, painted out in black eventually as well. So yeah, shell's going in tomorrow. I'll get some clips of that hopefully tomorrow as well. I'm gonna leave the camera here for Kev. Let's see what they've got to do camera-wise. It'd be fun. Now it's time for some color. So I'm gonna hand it over to the Autostar boys now. They're gonna do their thing. And I'm gonna go home and get some sleep. 
cannot wait. Some really exciting stuff as well. That steering wheel's coming out soon, and I'm gonna do away with uh, quite a bit on the dash, which you will see in due course. Mm -hmm.